Coping with an education crisis, teacher cuts, staff layoffs, school year reductions across the state. Now one OKC student is speaking out. Sophie Trachtenberg is a junior at Class and SAS High School. She wrote an open letter, you may have seen it, for a local blog blasting our state for failing our students. That letter, as you can imagine, has gone viral. It was even retweeted, we know, by State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister. So Sophie joins us this morning, taking time out of school, an excused absence, we believe, to be here with us. So Sophie, this letter, you took a lot of time and effort, a lot of heart to write it. Will you just share an excerpt with us? Sure. Um, at this time, the outlook of my education is in the hands of the state, and I cannot afford to be disappointed again by the authorities who are supposed to have my best interest in mind. Pretty pointed language there. How do you feel like the state has failed you? Um, especially with the teacher layoffs. Um, I go to a specialty school where I'm involved in the IB program and in sports. And so these teachers play a very large role in my life. And I think that if these teacher layoffs do go through, that it'll be very detrimental to my education. We know that you are involved in basketball. You're fantastic on the court. We know that you love to cook. And of course, you're in school and you're in that very elite program for the brightest among us. But how did you find the time to pen this kind of letter? What really was the motivation? Um, well, I think it really hit home for me, especially because I'm in those programs and I go to this school and um, OKCPS okay, has had a lot of issues and struggles. And so this um, really affected me personally. And so I think that it was my um, job to speak out on behalf of my fellow students and teachers. Yeah, really providing a voice for the students uh, in our community because we hear from the adults all the time, but exactly. we don't often get to hear the voice of the youth. And you write in your letter, talk of budget cuts and teacher layoffs have uh, have really widened the eyes of students and faculty alike, putting the entire Oklahoma City Public Schools community on edge. So you're referring to the conversations that are going on in the hallways of class and SAS and beyond. Are your peers apathetic to this crisis or do you feel like they're really tuned in? Are you talking about it? We have talked about it a lot, that's for sure, especially even with our teachers. So um, we want the state to know that we are involved and that we do understand what's going on and that we're not just going to be innocent bystanders and watch this happen. So um, yes, we have been talking about it a lot. We don't really know what to think or who to talk to, um, but this letter I think has definitely narrowed in. And you talk in your letter about the direct impact on class and SAS. Can you talk to our viewers a little bit about the cuts that you know are looming for teachers and, and other cuts that may impact your program and others? Um, especially, we heard uh, that for sure we will be losing 8.8 .8 teachers, so that's nine positions. And we're rounding. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, so this especially, I think uh, being at a specialty school, uh, losing these positions will affect the students directly and um, the value of our education will decrease. I think um, that's what the state has kind of proposed. So um, this will definitely affect me directly. And you talk in the letter also about your close relationship with your teachers that goes beyond the classroom. It stretches into your personal life and they serve as really a guide and a compass for you. Talk about your relationship, if you will, with some of your teachers and how they've really impacted your education and beyond. With my teachers and my coaches, we stay after hours. Um, go to tutoring and we email and go to practice. And so I see them a lot outside of school. Uh, we were all just at prom and a lot of the <laughs> teachers were there and so that was really fun. So they really make an effort to uh, be invested in our personal lives and learn about us so that they can provide the best education possible. I think if state lawmakers are listening, if state officials are listening to you, and we know they are because Joy Hoffmeister herself retweeted your, your letter. <laughs> it's been shared, I believe, what is it, 6,000 times yeah. at this point. Uh, if they're listening to you, what do you want them to hear from you today? Um, I just want them to know that us students really do know what is happening and that we do value our education and uh, that we do not want these cuts to happen, obviously. So um, I just want them to listen to a voice that is being affected directly and that is speaking up for my fellow students and teachers. I think a lot of people are going to want to know because your letter is impressive, you are impressive. What are your plans after high school? I know you have one more year, so you yeah. don't have to think about it just yet, but you're, like we said, a star on the basketball court. You love to cook. So what else? What could be in your future? Um, well, 
especially with my school, um, they've prepared me very well. So I want to go to a high academic institution uh, that is not in Oklahoma. <laughs> um, I'm looking to go to the East Coast and uh, hopefully play basketball. Well, hopefully broader perspective on the East Coast and then hopefully we can lure you back home because yeah. <laughs> we know you will do fantastic things. Sophie Trachtenberg, thank you for sharing your time thank you. and your thoughts with our community. And you can find Sophie's full letter on the blog Nondoc. That's where it was originally published, as I believe. But it's also on my Facebook page. So if you go there, you can check it out.